everyone. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Maybe you're wondering, is this for real? Or is this just some kind of trick from woo-woo to woo-hoo? Maybe you came here a little skeptical, thinking manifestation was just some woo-woo stuff because it might seem like it at times, but there is real science behind it. I'm going to give you a quick success story from a viewer who shared a very interesting manifestation she achieved by using the episode, write this seven times and see what happens, because this is one I surely would not have thought to do, but she was excited to share it with our community. So I'll give that to you in just a moment. Now, while I've also corrected post-production problems since that episode, I do want to thank you all so much who pointed out to me the music was too loud, and I am so apologetic to that. The truth is, the recent manifesting exercises I've shared do work because they target a powerful force within you, your mind, and within me too. I'm going to let you in on a little secret that helps prove the science and physicality of manifesting techniques. Well, one of those highly popular methods was episode 39, write this seven times and see what happens. First up, here's a quick success story from someone who tried it with her unusual manifestation. This is what she said. Thank you one more time. I came back to say that it really worked. I was trying to get pregnant for 11 months and I just got my positive yesterday. I'll think about my next wish now. Now, she had left a comment two weeks prior saying she was going to try this out. Within two weeks, she was pregnant after trying 11 months and doing the Right This Seven Times, episode 39. Now, that's a pretty cool manifestation, wouldn't you say? It's not what I would have thought of, but you know what? Because normally we're working on money or relationships or health or what have you. So, Claudia, I'm so happy for you. Thank you for sharing this and giving permission to share. You keep going on your next one and let us all know what happens. I'll report back. This brings me to a quick secret on the science and neurology part of manifestation and fulfilling your goals. So think about this. Have you ever gotten a new car and suddenly you start noticing that same car everywhere on the road? It's not a coincidence. It's your brain's reticular activating system, or RAS, in action. That RAS is like a giant filter in your brain. It kind of constantly bombards you with information, but it can only focus on so much at one time. When you set a clear intention and focus on your desires, you're essentially telling your reticular activating system, hey, this is important. Suddenly, your RAS starts filtering out distractions and highlighting opportunities that align with your goals. You might even see a job posting you would maybe otherwise have missed or connect with someone who can help you on your journey that you otherwise might not have even noticed. In episode 34, there's there's more cool details on the reticular activating... Oh, this way. On the reticular activating system and why you should care about it. And it's called why you can turn your thoughts into reality. You might enjoy that if you want to go a little bit deeper into the hows and whys of that neurology, because sometimes that will help secure it for certain people and help get over that skepticism, understanding there's physicality in our brains, our minds, and how we're creating that which we want in our lives. Our beliefs have a surprising amount of power over our reality. This is something scientists have been studying for years through the placebo effect. This is interesting. In placebo studies, we all know this, people are given a sugar pill and they're told it's a powerful new medication. Even though it has no active ingredients, a surprising number of people experience positive effects simply because they believe it will work. Manifestation works in a very similar way. When you do truly believe you can achieve something, you're programming your mind and your body to move towards that goal. You become more confident. You take more and more little actions, and then you attract the resources you need to make it happen. Now, before you go out and visualize your dream car into existence overnight, there's a couple important things to remember about this. Although manifesting isn't magic, 
It's about harnessing the power of your mind and a little bit of effort and staying power and practice. But when you do, that's when it really does feel like magic. And I've mentioned that before. So those exercises that we went through, if you if you were part of those videos, like write this seven times, put it under your pillow, write this three times, that 520 method, or the 369 method, the video just before this one, they're like training your brain for success by consistently focusing on your desires, building those positive beliefs, and taking inspired action when you're nudged to do so from your intuition. That's what inspired action really means then your chances of achieving them are off the charts. To go back to that manifestation playlist on my channel and revisit a few techniques, see how much more powerful they feel with you think about the scientific backing of the reticular activating system. I do take your comments and recommendations to heart. So if you see something you like, uh, please let me know. Or an improvement, I am on my journey too. I'm growing as well as learning every single day how to be better and bring my take on reinventing your life, overcoming hardships, and gaining the courage that you need while working on the manifestation process to amp up your life's wonder and excitement in spite of stuff that might be going on behind the scenes in your world and mine. You've been great, and thank you for being here. Subscribe if you like my work, and happy manifesting.